Oh, there you are, YouTube. Okay, so we're doing a one take random ranking vlog where I go to my movie collection behind me, pick out three movies at random with my eyes closed, sort of, and then I rank them from most favorite to least favorite. These movies usually don't have anything in common or very little in common. Sometimes maybe an actor or a director or I don't know, a genre, but they are chosen at random from a collection of films that are not in alphabetical order. And um, there's going to be no edits in this video because I had a heavy work day. I was staring at my laptop all day long. So like anything, anything that's beyond like this far from me is blurry because I've just, I've, this is how far I've been looking all day long. And it's, uh, it's, it's an experience. So, okay, let's pick out some movies. I'm going to go all the way back here for one. I'm still here. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, I don't think this one's been opened. Hopefully I've seen it. Here's another one from back here. Um, I never pick from up there because I got things stacked in a weird way and I don't want them to fall. Okay, let's go all the way back here. I don't think I've chosen here in a while. And then let's see what we got. Ooh, ooh, not a good one. Okay, shoot. All right, I haven't watched this yet. I don't think I've ever seen it either. I have a debate. Okay, here, I'll just start off with these. We may be swapping one out. Live free or die hard. <laughs> Meatballs, are you ready for the summer? And Silverado. So this is one that I feel like I have a memory of seeing, like a plot line, a uh, subplot, I should say, I have in my head from a movie that I didn't know what it was from. Something that I watched from a kid. Went from when I was a kid. And I thought it involved... I thought it involved Danny Glover, and then when I read the synopsis to this movie, what the subplot that I remember was not in the synopsis. So I think maybe there was another film, maybe not with Danny Glover, or maybe it was with Danny Glover. Is it Danny Glover in another Western? And basically, I thought I had seen this, but after reading the synopsis a few years back, I don't think I ever have. So, I'm going to say no. Wouldn't be fair to rank this movie. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to pick one from down here. What's it going to be? Feels like it has a slip cover. Oh, The Big Sick. That's a nice film with Kumail. Okay, so how are we going to rank these? This is Die Hard 4, right? Or 5? 4? What was the fifth one called? With Jai Courtney, right? Wasn't Jai Courtney in that one? Is Jai Courtney in this one? No. Live Free... Which one is this? Kevin Smith is in this one, right? See, we all know 1, 2, and 3, but after that, who knows? Who cares? So that's pretty telling on where this one's going to be. I'm pretty sure this is the one with Kevin Smith in it, because um, this guy's in it. And then he hired him to be, like, in Tusk. Right? Is Kevin Smith even in this? Why do I think that? Kevin Smith is in Daredevil. He's in that movie with Jennifer Garner. Steve Zahn in that movie? Or am I... I don't know. Okay. Regardless. Live Free, Die Hard. This is going to be a bad ranking because I don't know what this is. Which is why it probably deserves to be all the way over here for now. So... Meatballs, funny, hilarious, Bill Murray, uh, a camp movie, um, you know, just, just a lot of, a lot of fun. It's kind of loud, I feel like, though. That theme song is really fun. Are you ready for the summer? Are you re I can't even sing it right now, but, um, I think that, that song is a lot of fun. Um, you have Bill Murray doing like cool speeches and stuff trying to make uncool kids feel cool and uh, yeah it's it's good I've only seen this a handful of times but I did like it I've only seen this a handful of times so we're not 
we're not in territory to where I know a movie super well. The, what I know best is probably The Big Sick because I've seen it the m most recent, maybe even the most. I've probably seen this one the most. I would say I've seen this one maybe three, four times. This one twice, this one once. So these aren't heavy hitters for me. Um, but yeah, Big Sick, nice love story based on Kumail's real life story with him and his wife. That's Kumail right there, Nanjiani. Um, she, Zoe Kazan, is playing basically his wife. His wife, I believe, um, wrote this along with him. I believe they wrote it together. Yeah. Emily V. Gordon, right? Is that, is that his wife? I need to... Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Written by Emily Gordon, Emily V. Gordon and Kumail Nanjiani about their life. And I love uh, movies about stand-up comedy. This isn't like about stand-up comedy, but it's about a stand-up comedian. So, um, has a cool place in my heart because of that. Also, it's a wonderful um, rom-com drum a -dee. All those things wrapped into one. Um, Ray Romano is hilarious in it, and um, yeah, I, I, it's just really good. So, you know, I think, I don't know, this might be a case to where it's more familiar, 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 familiarity, is that right? With these movies. So I think this is my ranking. The Big Sick, and then Meatballs, but you know, if I watched Meatballs more like recently, I can, I could see this one maybe being number one. Like these are close. This one's far away. This one shouldn't even be here. Why do I own this? But I'm thinking, you know, let's say I watch this one tomorrow, maybe I would put it number one, but I haven't. It's been maybe four or five years since I've seen it. So I'm going to do this. This is my ranking. The Big Sick, Meatballs, Live Free, or Die Hard. And guys, we can't forget. We can't forget that I have to do a thumbnail right now because there's no editing here in this video. So we got to figure out how to do a thumbnail. Peeking over these movies. Maybe something like this. Ooh, look at that. Bruce Willis looking at me. And then big eyes. Everybody in their YouTube videos always have big eyes like this, like they're surprised. <gasps> I can't believe I picked these movies. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching this. I know they're awkward when I can't edit. I feel like I make them extra awkward. Um, but thank you so much for, for sticking around and watching this. And, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.